On overdrive today, we road test the all new Mahindra XUV 3XO and thoroughly test the new Force Gurkha. Hello and welcome to Overdrive. I am Soini Dutt. Mahindra has finally pulled the wraps off the new Mahindra XUV 3XO. It is essentially a refreshed version of the XUV 300. It now comes with a host of new features, new styling, as well as a refreshed cabin. Here's Tuhin with all the details. Mahindra says it's at the fifth spot in the sub 4 meter SUV segment. So what does it do to fix it? Throw everything that it can at the XUV300 to make it the XUV3XO. Let's see what it's like. Heavy styling flourishes seem to be the new norm in this segment and Mahindra seems to have fully embraced this if the XUV3XO's new face is anything to go by. It's the new XUV family look which lends this already wide SUV a wider, flatter stance from the front. The oversized LED lighting with the big C-shaped LED motifs draw a good deal of attention. The split grille with the heavy gloss black follows this theme as does the new bonnet. This is also meant to improve visibility. As with many other SUVs in this segment, it's a theme that will divide opinion. In profile, not much has changed. You now have 17-inch wheels, a segment first, which makes for a fuller look. The reworked wheel arches, roof rails and C-pillar panels help as does the heavy dose of gloss black, but that abrupt look of the XUV300 still hasn't been fully tackled. The rear is again a notable change with the sharper angles to the new boot lid and the more prominent spoiler. The now quite common full width lighting makes an appearance, which makes for a cleaner look than before. Keeping with the sharper theme, you have a new bumper design here to round things off. Now, one of the drawbacks of the XUV300 was its slightly compromised boot space and Mahindra has tried to address that with the 3XO. So, what you now get is 295 litres of boot space, which is competitive. It's not the best, but it's competitive in the segment. And as you can see, it's a fairly, again, there's a high lip, so you do have to lift your bag up high and a heavy bag will take some effort. But it's a deep floor, so a weekend's worth of luggage for a family of four should be an easy fit. And of course, you have some practicality like this 60-40 split. That should help matters. And Mahindra says that if you load it up right to the top, you get 360 4 litres. And some nice practical additions have been made with these hooks on either side. They're pretty sturdy, so they too should be helpful. Now, as you can see, there have been some changes made to the interiors of the XUV 3XO as well, from coming from the 300. And if you've seen the new XUV 400 EV, they'll be quite familiar. So yeah, you have that slightly more modern design. It's still not the most contemporary in this segment by any stretch, but it's a step forward in the right direction. So you have this gloss black here, this new central tunnel with the more horizontal vents, this new screen and so on, this simpler arrangement here. But where there truly has been a step up is in terms of the materials and finishes. Now, this is most notable at the top where you have these soft materials here, here and even here and the stitching especially is really quite nice it's been done really well in the way it sort of wraps around you and the same goes for this new steering wheel again it's been taken from the xuv 700 and you have these perforations here it's a large wheel so it's also pretty decent to hold now some other nice bits are these new perforated seats they are white so they'll be very difficult to keep clean but as they are right now they're really quite nice they're also pretty comfortable there's a bit too much lumbar for my liking but many people will probably like that. But that being said, there still could have been more improvements in terms of just lifting up the sense of premiumness in the cabin and you get that thought because of these plastics in the lower half. They still have that slightly oldish sort of texture to it which maybe could have been improved. But there's a good deal of practicality that's been thrown into this new sort of layout. To start with, you see this new dual zone, all the climate controls and so on, all the media controls, they're all hard buttons. You have a hard knob for the volume for the AC controls and big tactile buttons. Now these slim buttons, which we never liked right from the start of the XUV300, that's still carried over. Maybe they could have changed that. But other than that, they are pretty easy to use on the move. And the same goes for these buttons on the steering wheels and these stocks. Now in terms of overall cabin practicality, you notice that this central tunnel, the new arrangement doesn't have too many cubby holes. It's quite a, quite a shallow sort of space to just put the, for the wireless charger. That's there. And these uh, cup holders here. And you have fairly shallow sort of central console. But what you do get is some really large door pockets. Another significant update is the new infotainment system, again similar to the XUV700 and XUV400. 
you now have a 10.25 inch touch screen that is fairly slick to use and logically laid out even if it may not be the best in the segment we also would have liked a brighter theme the 10.25 inch driver's display is clear and offers up a good deal of information logically it's easy to toggle through menus and you also have various layout options that make life easy and a quite rich feeling now mahindra has really gone to town with the features that the xuv 3x offers and there really are some really big talking points one of the biggest of these is this harman kardon audio system now it's really quite advanced now some other quite useful features are obviously the dual zone air conditioning the auto headlamps and wipers and of course this new segment first panoramic sunroof that being said there are still some quite glaring feature misses we think for example you don't get ventilated seats you don't get a telescopic adjustment for the steering which is which some people might find somewhat annoying and you also don't get a pm 2.5 air filter the xuv 3xo has a strong base to work off in terms of safety with the xuv 3w already being a five star rated car by global ncap you now get level 2 adas and 360 degree cameras with a blind view function the feed is clear enough for the regular cameras but the blind view function doesn't quite give you a wide view which isn't helped by a grainy feed standard features include six airbags all wheel disc brakes and a new quicker reacting stability control system from the xuv 700 Now one of the XUV 3W's USPs was that it was derived from a full size C segment SUV and of course that continues unchanged with the 3XO. So what you do get is one of the biggest most comfortable cabins in the sub 4 meter segment. You see that in terms of the width three people will sit here very easily and maybe the cushioning could have been slightly better. So for example it's a bit too flat for my liking the seat base but that also does mean that for the middle passenger it's really quite easy to just sit here. in that sense and you have a really quite nice recline angle for the seat back so long distances for those at the back will be pretty comfortable and that continues with the kind of headroom and knee and leg room that here you can tuck your feet in so that's good the 2600 mm wheelbase which is one of the longest in the segment that helps of course in this regard and then of course the big talking point is the sunroof the panoramic sunroof it's not the largest of its kind of course you've seen bigger sunroofs in other cars but the fact that it's there is a nice addition and really brightens up the space already quite bright with these fairly large windows and the light upholstery again like from the front what you do get is soft materials here now this is something you don't really notice or see in cars at this price point which is quite surprising but yeah like the rest of the car the materials in the lower reaches are those hard plastics in that slightly old style uh, texture now in terms of amenities you get another type c charger here a 12 volt power outlet and this uh, center armrest and another good addition is this middle headrest but we have a lot more to tell you about the xuv 3xo stay with us after this very short break you're watching overdrive back you're watching overdrive now we're diving deep into what's new in the xuv 3xo and apart from the design changes as well as a host of new features it now comes with an automatic transmission and three engine options we have driven the 1.2 liter tgi variant here's to him with all the details the first thing you realize is that and mahindra makes it a point to let us know it is that how much of an suv it feels like to drive so you sit quite high up it's about 1.5 meters something but your eye level is off the ground and with the design of the bonnet again like the earlier car it's very easy to place in traffic so driving this car in traffic is really not a hassle it's actually quite simple and then you have the engine now we're driving the 1.2 tgdi with the 130 ps and 230 nm which again goes up to 250 with the overboost function now we've driven this briefly before in its manual form but this one is with the Six speed uh, torque converter automatic. Unlike many competitors, the direct injection turbo petrol is impressively refined. It's quiet at city speeds and there's not much in the way of vibrations. At higher revs, this turns into a pleasant growl that many will like. Paired with the new automatic performance, from standstill is smooth. But you are sometimes caught out by dull performance before the boost fully comes on before 2,000 rpm. This is most noticed at medium city speeds where you need a good shove at the pedal to trigger a downshift and get up to speed. It's best to be smooth at these times given the quite potent surge that comes after this lull. 
We think a sport gearbox mode would have been a good addition in these situations. But getting past this seems to bring the drivetrain into its sweet spot. There's quite an exciting surge of torque, especially for a sub 4 meter SUV with the overboost function. But then it settles into a flatter but still strong acceleration in the higher reaches of the rev band. So progress at higher speeds is again especially smooth. The gearbox also seems to be more alert at this time, which combined with its soft smooth shifts makes for a clean experience. You do get drive modes which change engine response and steering heft, but we would best stick to the lower zip and zap modes in regular driving. The top zoom mode can be a bit peaky and is probably best reserved for spirited driving on the weekends. Now another big change that Mahindra has made is that it's retuned the suspension. The 300 wasn't the greatest in that regard in terms of its handling. It, it had good ride but it would sort of roll around a bit, never felt fully tied down. Now that has changed, this one does feel more tied down than that. You do notice that it's movements on uneven road surfaces, on, on flowing corners, they're predictable, they're smooth. So in that. So you do get that sense of confidence. Now we would have liked for the steering to have improved further. Now there is more heft to it. It's not completely dull and light like how it was earlier. And especially as you keep going to the higher mode, there's more heft being added. And the good part is this new, more competent sort of handling character hasn't come at the cost of ride quality. Yes, or broken roads at slow speeds, you do feel it to be a bit firmer than the older car. You do feel those bumps a little bit more. But again, it's smoothened off well, so it's never uncomfortable. And then as you keep going faster, you have that sense, that Mahindra's sense of really that toughness, that really strong build. Price between Rs 7.49 lakh and Rs 15.49 lakh, the Mahindra XUV 3XO should become a strong contender in the sub 4 meter SUV segment. Yes, we would have liked a slightly smooth drive to at low speeds and the looks might still polarize opinion. But the long list of features and safety equipment, comfortable cabin and the far improved dynamic character will be a draw for a wider section of buyers. Time to head into our final break here on the show, but coming up on the other side, the very rugged and capable Force Gurkha not only gets a few updates, but now comes with a five-door variant. Stay with us, you're watching Overdrive.